Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tony and this is TC's Outdoors. And uh, happy Labor Day weekend everybody. So today it'll be Friday when you see this. So, uh, or no, Saturday morning I suppose. Um, we're gonna go fill up the bundles. I haven't had a chance all week to get down there. Uh, we've been busy, I've been busy at work. The weather hasn't been great. But I'm hoping that this weekend the sales are good. Uh, sales have slowed down down there quite a bit. Uh, camping season is kind of coming to a close. But uh, the thieves have not let up down there. So we're still having some stuff stolen at my second roadside stand. So if you've been following along, um, I've been trying to deter thieves one way or the other. And uh, today, hopefully, I'm going to add the last piece of the puzzle and be able to stop the thieves in their tracks, I hope, is the plan because there's nothing more frustrating than going down there and uh, the money's not right, you know? It's, uh, you put all this work into this, put all this work into the firewood and uh, somebody just takes it, it's not that cool. So, I get the truck loaded up and we'll get down there and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Come try. All right, so that is 12 bundles all loaded to go. Ready to go down to the roadside stand number two. I'm not 100% sure how many bundles I have down there. Um, usually I take around 12 down there. It seems to have room for it. So hopefully there's my little assistant over there. Say hi, Nelly. Hi. So uh, we're gonna run down there. Nelly's gonna give me a hand and uh, we'll get it filled up and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So here we go. All right, so we gotta check the cash box. First order of business. Yeah. Missing one, two, six, seven bundles are missing, so looks like doing pretty good there. 40, oh boy. 60. It looks like everybody was honest this time. Oh, and the fire starters are gone. I should have brought some of those down. I guess I'll have to bring some more fire starters down. What are you doing? Psychopath. <laughs> Hi. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. I know. You're sitting on my foot, you meathead. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. piece of the puzzle as far as security at my second roadside stand is hopefully going to be this fake camera um, it won't be hooked to anything but hopefully the the potential thieves don't notice so I added this dusk till dawn light right here and that seemed to help but we're still getting the occasional theft uh, I think the last time I came down here we had lost a uh, fire starter so and I guess just part of doing business but Nothing fancy here. Just a uh, fake little, got a fake little wire. Not sure where we're gonna screw it on. Someplace aiming at the the uh, cash box would be best. Or maybe mm -hmm. right here. If you aim it, if you go up there, man, <coughs> up there, you can aim it better at the box. Uh, I think underneath, that way it doesn't block the solar panel. Oh wait, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I think right there is going to do it. Oh, shoot, I dropped it. <coughs> Flat tire maker for my brother. <laughs> that would be very good. So we'll put it by the solar panel and maybe 
it'll appear that they came out. Right and these screws are something. Okay, that didn't work. Let's uh Disassemble it. Try to put it together because I just bent that screw. As it would go, right? It's got to be always got to be something wrong. These are the supplied screws and they are um, not very good quality. Just snapped the head off of that one. Okay. All right, we're back after experiencing some technical difficulties with the screws. Um, hopefully we can get these screws out and the new screws that I brought will much shorter screws this time around so that they don't break off this is oak apparently um, the Chinese screws from Harbor Freight did not want to um, penetrate the oak so. so we'll put it down just a hair below the broken screw Much better. That went in so much better. Yeah, it's much better. Oh yeah, that'll do it. These short little screws will be perfect. Even still, I'm not exactly sure how you're supposed to put the screw into that one. So, I suppose we can try to put her at an angle. That'll work. And we'll put that back through there. All right, all reassembled. And just gotta aim it over towards the cash box. See how we look. So, let's see sort of my little intermission for uh, running for a little more reliable screws. Uh, that should work. Hopefully that keeps everybody honest. There's the camera lady can hold that. So uh, yeah, we'll see, time will tell. So we did check the money when we ran home to get screws and um, everything was purchased uh, fair and square. So nobody stole anything that time around. So that's pretty cool. And we brought down some more fire starters. Maybe my little helper will go grab them for us and we can load that back up. I'm not sure if everybody remembers or not, but when we made these, I punched a hole in the bag so they just slide over that threaded rod. And we have sold um, 12 down here. So 12 bags of 12 uh, fire starters I've sold here. And I think I've sold, sold like five or six at our house. So um, a definite bonus add-on because uh, I sell them for 10 bucks a bag. So that's definitely, it's a, almost probably 200 bucks that I wouldn't have made if I didn't, uh, Natalie and I didn't make those fire starters together. So yeah. pretty cool. Um, let's cruise home and we'll talk about the woodshed build because uh, I tried video on that, but that didn't work out for me. So uh, we can talk about what I've accomplished so far. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll uh, see you back at the house. We're back. All right, we're on the uh, boiler pad where the woodshed will be at some point in my life. And uh, if you see down at that end, We've got the sono tubes poured. Austin and I did that, I don't know, maybe a month ago. Maybe not quite that long. Um, it was just he and I out here in a wheelbarrow and some concrete. And it took us about, I don't know, 40 minutes or so. But it was a good little learning exercise for Austin and how to mix concrete by hand. Uh, it was kind of fun. And those two are in the concrete. Those two back there, I stuck in the concrete when I poured. Let me see that one over there. Where am I pointing? There you go. And then uh, when I poured this pad, so I poured this pad at the tail end of last summer. I don't know if you remember that or not, but I can throw a link up. I'll put the link right here to that video. 
Um, and then these posts, those post anchors here are a little different. They're lagged down um, on four legs on each, or two on each corner. And uh, I bought those off of Amazon and the post anchors themselves seem pretty sturdy, but the legs, not so much. So I started using the legs that it came with and I kind of had the same trouble I had with the screws that came with that camera. Uh, they weren't working. They were breaking and bending and uh, I couldn't get them in the concrete by the time I did The threads were all mangled or they had bent right over like nails. So I uh, I put four in right here that I'm gonna have to cut off at some point and then there's two on the other side I got to this point and I uh, threw in the towel and went and bought some good legs and when I did that I forgot to turn the camera back on so the Pretty much the entire process didn't get recorded unfortunately which is kind of a bummer but that's the way it goes sometimes so but either way i have since gotten a materials list together and i just got to make my way to lowe's and get some lumber and i can get building this thing so um i'm going to use four by four posts and two by ten top plate and two by six rafters and then two by four purlins which i know that that's probably overbuilt for what it's doing but I don't ever want to do it again. So the plan is, is just to build it nice once and just get to enjoy it the rest of my life. That's the, that's my plan anyway. So, but either way, um, hopefully we've got the roadside stand as secure as it needs to be and people stop stealing from me. But uh, either way, I'll let you guys know how it works out if I have any more theft since then. But uh, thanks for coming along. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Um, enjoy the rest of your Labor Day weekend and uh, spend some good quality time with your family and have a good day. Take care. We'll see you.